Okay, and so now we're going to take a look at the Cuban Revolution, which happens in 1959, led by Fidel Castro and Che Guevara. So here's a, a quick seven-minute video on it. The glamorous image of Cuba was a smokescreen designed to attract tourists. In reality, what lay behind it was an economy dependent on U.S. market. Illiteracy, lack of public education, police brutality, and poverty made up the real Cuba. After being dominated by Spain and the U.S., Cuba wanted its independence. Fulgencio Batista arose as a supporter for Cuban independence. At first he was loved by Cubans for his contributions, like the drafting of the 1940 Cuban Constitution, which granted human rights, labor rights, and citizenship rights. But after his return from an eight-year break, he was hated for his dictatorial ways. He ruled from 1952 to 1959 until a young, strong-willed lawyer, Fidel Castro, overthrew him. The revolution began with Castro's attack on the Moncada Baraca on July 26, 1953. Castro was sentenced to 15 years in prison. In 1955, he fled to Mexico City where he met Che Guevara. Ernesto Che Guevara was born in Argentina where he studied medicine to become a doctor. On a trip to South America, he saw widespread poverty amongst the people. He blamed imperialism for the poverty he saw. He joined Castro's revolution to fight against imperialism. Patria o muerte. Guevara and Castro were perfect leaders for the revolution. Both men were aggressively determined to win Cuba's independence. On January 1st, 1959, Castro and his troops defeated Batista, ending the revolution. Fidel Castro became Cuba's new president. Castro reinstated the Constitution, provided free health care, and erased illiteracy. 
Meanwhile, Che Guevara was in Bolivia attempting to start a revolution. The CIA officers found him and his men. On October 9, 1967, Che Guevara was executed. Vamos a leer una carta. Aquí le puse mi letra. Aquí transcripta a Mac. Del compañero Ernesto Guevara. Un día pasaron preguntando a quién se debía avisar en caso de muerte. Y la posibilidad real del hecho nos golpeó a todos. Después supimos que era cierto, que en una revolución se triunfa o se muere, si es verdadera. Ok, and so that's been a, a quick uh, video on the Cuban Revolution, which was definitely a huge issue as it was the only Cuban country in the Western Hemisphere at that time. And uh, not only that, but closer to the United States than we are from San Antonio. So very important event. 1959, the Cuban Revolution uh, of Fidel Castro and Che Guevara.